Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So, welcome to another Monster Spotlight. Today we have with us Seabus Acosta and his Dark Monkiki. So, this monster is completely maxed out. It's Evil 3, um, 6 starred and max level. It's also a variant. has a plus 2 variant skill. Not, not bad at all. And he has it gemmed up with defense, defense, crit rate on intuition set. No crit rate on these two gems. But um, it is triple square slot, so he is he is part of the triple square slot master race, and um, yeah, it has around 84% crit rate. I think exactly 84% crit rate. If you add the 50 plus the 20 plus the 30, exactly 84% crit rate. So it should definitely be high enough because you want to take advantage of that crit rate for the dark monster. So what should we actually do for this? Um, I, w I actually always wanted to test out a full aggressor comp for. For Golem Speed 10, you know something like I don't know if if a lot of people have to eat Dark July because she was actually from like around January or something from the Rebirth. Um, but I, I've always wanted to test out something like something like this, or maybe even this. You know, just to make it more stable because I'm using like more <laughs> defense aggression. I think this one has a higher crit rate. No, this one has a higher crit rate. I could go with this. Or actually no, yeah, I I really do want to test it out. I want to test out um, how good the Monkiki is on a on an aggressor defense comp. Basically, I might have my Persephone gemmed up. Do I? No, I I don't. All right, we're gonna have to go with the July. So if you have like a Dark Jack or a July or Water Persephone, you can definitely try something like this. Um, you can try something tr try something like this with a light Venus as well, solo tanking, and then you run your aggressors as your other guys, so the golem can't kill them, kill your guys with the AOE, and you know aggressors make the run really really safe. And the good thing about the Monkiki is he also has a armor break on his second skill, so he can put this on the boss, and you guys can take down the boss a little bit faster. So this is going to be one of those spotlight videos where I just do one really quick run through and see how fast I can I can clear through it. Hopefully this this run does go well because I won't be able to get a second try but my sea stars and my and this monkiki and my july is gemmed up pretty well so we should definitely be able to make a pretty stable run now the good thing with running um, a non light venus comp like if you're running some other healer besides light venus the good thing about that is since you're none of your um, units have element disadvantage against them and you're all aggressors, it doesn't matter who they hit, because you can basically still, like, you know, regenerate that health back. And you'll still be able to do a lot of damage before they, like, if, if the, the wave spawns, like, four moonflowers like this, um, most of the time you will be able to, able to kill at least um, two or three of them before they get their AoEs off, which is enough to make sure you, you get a safe run. Basically, you gotta kill three within four turns, so it's not it's not too hard. All right, Monkey he got his active up. Now his active is only single target, but um, it is a hundred percent armor break, and he is an he is a defense aggressor. So if you gem him with defense, he'll be able to do a lot of damage. And the armor break, if you land it on the boss, since the boss has a lot lower resistance now, you will be able to kill the boss a lot faster. So I'm thinking maybe this can kind of help me speed up, speed up my runs a little bit. I think the problem with this this comp is since the armor break is only single target, they they can't really choose who to focus. So you kind of have to kill the two things on the side first before you, you're able to do anything. Like he, the monkey chose to armor break the unit on the side instead of um, instead of doing it on the boss. But we should be able to kill that thing now, and then they'll start working on the boss. And um, since I'm aggressors, like most all my units are aggressors, I will be able to sustain myself okay with just uh, just the July and even if the sustain isn't enough I will still have enough damage to basically kill the boss hopefully hopefully Ooh, he silenced me that that was unlucky that's like two turns without armor break I think the good thing about the combo with the passive healers plus defense aggressors is um, you know, even if 
the, the boss does his retribution, which is his his skill that does damage based on HP. HP. Even if he does his retribution on your unit that that's like you know built with full defense, is still fine because your your passive healer will be able to sustain that unit back up, just as long as that unit has at least a little bit of HP. Either just you know a little bit of HP substats, or maybe that monster has a decent amount of base HP. Like the Dark Monkey and the um, Sea Stars both like have a pretty pretty decent amount of HP for for defense type monsters. So that's pretty good. So that was three minutes and eight seconds. It's not the fastest run. But I think it, it is really stable, and it's also, um, it was really unlucky as well that he chose to armor break the thing on the side. If they, if he armor broke the boss, I might have gotten a much, much faster run. So, you know, that's also something to consider. Like, he might be able to, um, sometimes get like a 2 minute and 40 second runs. You know, if he chooses to armor break the boss right in the beginning. But it's all part of RNG. So that's pretty much it. Um, it was a little bit short, but I wanted to just kind of try this out because I don't have a Dark mon Monkey built. And if I were to build a Dark Monkey, it would probably for be for this purpose, to kind of use him as an armor breaker for, for Golem's V10. And yeah, that is pretty much it. So thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you Sebas for <laughs> lending us your Dark Monkey. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.